everyone, we're back, and this time we have another guest with us. This is Asher, my older son. And um, he is here to help us uh, taste test um, the toast that we have made. And we just took it out of the oven. It was on 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we let it preheat. So it's gonna be nice and hot when we put it in. But I need you to know that we put it in for 10 minutes. I would probably put it in for 12, and so they could be toasty. And then I will tell you that we, I put the broil on for mommies and daddies uh, that are helping. And I just left that, um, I guess, sizzle on low um, so that it could help toast it a little bit more. And it was probably only about two minutes. Um, so anyway, every oven is different. So we had to watch it just to make sure that they didn't burn. All right, it's time to taste test. No, no, no. First, we have to put on a hand sanitizer or wash your hands. So we can all say uh, safe and not sick. Okay, now y'all can dig in. Right? Okay. Mmm. <laughs> sure. Oh, thoughts this evening? Okay, we'll be careful. Dumb. Yum. What do you think, Asher? It's really good. Sophie, what do you think? That's okay. Mmm. Mine is wonderful. <laughs> okay. Okay, well enough of that. You'll have to try your own after this video. Uh, right now, I'm going to talk to you about writing your how-to. And then you can share it with a friend or a grandparent or have it ready so that your parents can help you make your own cinnamon toast. Here we go. First of all, you're going to take your writing journal out. You're going to find a clean sheet of paper. Please do not skip because then your uh, book will run out quickly or you'll have all of your pages out of order. So I found a nice clean sheet of paper and I'm gonna begin. Remember when we did history and we want to follow the rules of uh, writing paragraphs? We want to make sure we indent Make sure that you use a capital letter at the beginning of every sentence. Make sure that you write, you have spaces between your words and so that you can read it and others can read it. Be nice for you to skip a space, a long row between each sentence. All right, let's begin. So your title for your write-up would be how to make cinnamon toast. So that's your title of your paper. Then you want to begin with your topic sentence and that would be, uh, you could say, uh, I will, you, you could maybe your topic could be, I will be uh, teaching you how to make cinnamon toast today. Uh, and then start with first, and then start with your first procedure. Uh, it, it really it really depends on you now. I would like for you to think and come up with your own topics that uh, lets everyone know what you're writing about. And here, we're writing about cinnamon toast. All right, so we could start with our topic sentence. Uh, today I will show you how to make cinnamon toast, or you could say, today I will be uh, giving you the directions on how to make cinnamon toast. Those are just a few ideas. All right. The next sentence would be, first, wash your hands. Again, this is my sentence. Maybe you would actually give the um, ingredients. Maybe you want to say first, take get all of your ingredients, you, and then say. You will need butter, cinnamon, sugar, and bread. 
Um, secondly, you could say take a piece of bread and spread butter on it. Then sprinkle cinnamon. Can I see my uh, my marker? I don't see my. Can I see my marker? <laughs> I did cinnamon again wrong. Let it not. That's right, Mom. No, I don't have the A. Yes, you do. No, no. Oh. It doesn't even. Let me have that black marker. Where? No, that's a sharpie. I'm just going to do one deal? little line. No. I'll take it off with alcohol. Stop. I got to go on. It's really in the way. can't see it. It looks like Excuse me. Are you ready? Some magic water. Three, two, one. Have a good day. Yeah, because it's daytime. It is? Mm-hmm.